Welcome back now, folks. Wagen Group Africa will invest 4 billion rand in building a new SUV at its Cariega plant alongside current models. The investment reaffirms the company's commitment to South Africa securing jobs and boosting exports, despite rumours indicating otherwise late last year. And joining me now to drive us through the production plans is Chair and Managing Director for Volkswagen Group Africa, Martina Bean. Uh, thank you so much for your time, uh, Martina. Now, a 4 billion rand investment. Give us the breakdown of the use of this capital and also the uh, production capacity that you are aiming for. So probably, let me start a bit earlier. So our good news story already starts this year first uh, because we've been assigned from the headquarter to be the sole manufacturer for Polo. So that means every Polo you see in any country in the world, from now on, it's produced in our Carija plant. And with that, we are extending our maximum capacity already. So with this first good news, we are extending our maximum capacity to a 171,000 units a year. Uh, targeting a production record already this year with 165. So uh, that's that's already very good news. Mm. Uh, and then comes in the, 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 we call it the third product. So, so far it's called A0 Entry SUV, a compact SUV. Uh, we'll run a naming convention. So for all of you who are interested in giving that car a name, by end of this year we'll run a naming convention because it's an African car uh, made in Africa for Africa, proudly uh, made in Carija. Um, the majority, so it's it's based on the same platform as the Polo um, is the model we are currently producing, uh. um, and that enables us to slot that in nicely. Um, the majority of work has to be done in in the body shop uh, because obviously it's a fully new head, it's an SUV head, so that needs to fit in and uh, and be welded and in in the body shop. Uh, then of course a bit in assembly, we need new tools like these huge tools uh, we'll we'll have for press shops. So. A yeah. lot of investment uh, in the production side. Of course, there will be new suppliers. There needs to be, because it's new parts, uh, we'll, we'll have some common parts with the Polo, but there's also new parts, otherwise the car would look the same. Mm. So um, uh, investment goes on the supplier side, uh, uh, tools on the supplier side. Uh, so so that's, that's, the, that's the split. Uh, all right. Well, I do understand, I mean, uh, as much as you mentioned the 4 billion rand, there's also an additional amount that you are adding here uh, where, that you're using um, for generators to protect yourselves from load shedding. I do understand that you have suffered uh, production losses because of load shedding. Are there any permanent or longer term solutions that VW has considered in that uh, energy security effort? So first of all, thanks for mentioning it. And it's 130 million for generators. And uh, it, that's, of course, not part of the 4 billion. Mm. And for us, it's it's a bit of a sad story. And um, we've got them now in place, uh, up and running since March. And the measure was needed, uh, unfortunately, um, because we're targeting this production record. What I said, we want to be a, a, a reliable partner mm. for all our customers around the world. But we are facing load shedding and uh, it's a bit the unfortunate situation because uh, not all manufacturers in South Africa do face load shedding, but we do together with our neighbors Isuzu, for example. So Eastern Cape is specifically hit by that. Um, and, uh, and that was a bit part of my convincing effort also towards the headquarter to tell them, listen, you can rely on us. The a bit unfortunate thing is we'll have to spend another 130 million rand to be able to provide power just in case. Mm. So that's also something which didn't lend really well because it doesn't add to the competitiveness, uh, investment competitiveness of the country if like basic uh, supply is, is not in place. So, but because we love South Africa and because we are very committed, we rather, as, as South Africans would say, boer market plan, we made a yeah. plan to overcome <laughs> So, but uh, but still, we hope that nobody is now lying back. Hence, we have made that announcement. It says, no, they've catered for themselves. Our yeah. long-term plan is to become carbon neutral in production. We are investing heavily in uh, in solar anyway already. We've got 2.3 megawatt up and running. We are currently for another 55 million rent uh, covering our entire employee parking, uh, which is another 55 million as a shaded parking with uh, solar that adds another 3 megawatt. Our problem as an industry is we are very energy intensive. So we, we need 14 megawatts to run the entire operation. Now the solar, which I've told you, that's 5.3. And we are a three shift operation. So at night, nobody has invented the sun to shine so far. So uh, it's, a, it's a measure for the day. 
We are investing also into wind wheeling um, uh, because, as I said, we want to become carbon neutral. Mm. By 2030, there shouldn't be any CO2 emissions in production. Um, with the benefit as well that we are then more or less off the grid uh, um, and hopefully sustainable, uh, energy sustainable for ourselves. But we'll still ask for support uh, of the government uh, to help us fixing that situation and support us in that, uh, in that, uh, in, mm. for example, in that wind wheeling, because that's also not around the corner. So somehow transmission must work uh, with our wind wheel uh, park then. Yeah. I mean, just to wrap up the conversation, uh, Martina, you do emphasize VW's commitment to South Africa and Africa as a whole. And of course, uh, there is an admittance that, you know, uh, you talk about you had to convince the parent company uh, for this investment. It is quite a hard sell considering the headwinds that we are currently facing in South Africa. Talk to me about that decision to look past or work around uh, the headwinds. You said a board market plan, but also just the fruits that you are still banking on on the continent so for us uh, and uh, and we've recently been assigned the, uh, the re uh, responsibility for the entire continent of africa in the light of african continental free trade agreement the rollout the huge demand for industrialization the huge contribution automotive can have to that but also africa as the market we call it the last frontier in automotive because it's a used car dumping ground currently more than a new car market. So there is huge opportunity in selling cars, in producing cars, in producing components, in the raw material value chain. So that's why, uh, why we put forward a strong plea for South Africa as the, the, the headquarter for Africa. And uh, that's been acknowledged by our headquarter in, in Wolfsburg. So that's the, that's the starting point for Africa. But it's not that we forever will run our entire Africa operations in terms of building cars. Hopefully the market is growing and there will be others participating as well. Uh, so the selling point is the opportunity and the potential in Africa. The downside is we need South Africa's support. And I'm talking to government and ESCOM and Transnet to fix the issues uh, here in, in this country to be able to deliver on also the promise I made towards the headquarter. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us uh, more insights on that investment, uh, Martina, uh, sitting there in Karecha, uh, formerly known as Uteneg, not far from Karecha, my home city. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, that was Volkswagen Group Africa Chair and Managing Director Martina Biener.